All right, we're going to begin this hour with an investigation into the kidnapping of a Florida woman back in 2017. Alyssa Matthewson was woken up by her estranged husband who claimed that he wanted to reconcile with her. Well, investigators say that estranged husband, Trevor Summers, climbed into her home through a window, then kidnapped, assaulted, and nearly killed her. Peter Van Sant spoke with Matthewson in a wide-ranging interview for 48 hours. Here's an early look at his report. My dad had sat me down and discussed reconciling with my mom and fixing the marriage. Arden Summers was eager to help her dad, Trevor, talk to her mother, Elisa, about making their family whole again. So when her dad asked Arden to leave a window open at her mother's house, she agreed, even though a court had ordered him to stay away. I would let my dad in the window after my siblings and my mom went to bed. But Trevor Summers' supposed attempt at reconciliation was actually an act of manipulation, using the children as pawns. It was a plot that would involve kidnapping, assault, and attempted murder, tormenting Elisa for 55 hours, starting with when he entered her bedroom. I just start in full panic throwing things from my end table at him. This must be terrifying. It's terrifying. I am here with Elisa at her house, uh, where I'm not supposed to be. And I woke Elisa up, and I have been holding her against her will. Trevor Summers made a video confessing to some of his actions. By then, he had sent their children away, telling Arden, then just 14 years old, and who had no real driving experience, to drive her siblings to his house and wait. Meanwhile, Elisa's torment continued. He put a pillow over my face, and I thought about my kids, and I lost consciousness. And Peter Van Sant joins us now. Boy, Peter, the oh, idea of boy. preying on a kid's natural hope that their parents are going to yes. get back together. Right. Uh, it's evil. It really it is. is. That's exactly what it is. Uh, what happened at trial? Well, if there isn't enough drama in this story already, so at trial, Elisa is questioned by the prosecutor. When, when he finishes uh, asking questions, uh, her husband stands up and he says, I'm firing my attorney and I am now going to represent myself. So I've never seen this before. And there's a camera in the courtroom, so you can watch so this unfold. Oh, wow. So he stands up and he cross-examines his own wife, the woman that he had tortured mm. physically, wow. mentally, tied up for 55 hours. And he's also allowed to cross-examine two of his children. Wow. It's an extraordinary scene. But Elisa, who's just a remarkable character, she lays him out in that courtroom. Mm. It's a very dramatic scene. I think scene. about the trauma of the children. Yeah. I do think it's evil that you're going to use your own children. Imagine how that daughter feels thinking she's helping her dad, knowing what he ultimately did. Had and no idea what she was exactly. doing. Exactly. Right. And there's video of her that night. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. She's going Love down this darkened sidewalk to her mother's house, all excited that I'm going to let dad in and they're going to reconcile. We'll be a family again when, in fact, she was being used, uh, used in the most horrible of so ways. So what is wrong with Trevor Summers then? I mean, what was, what was his end goal? He intended, did he intend to kill his wife? What was he? Well, she believes so. He later said, no, I still wanted to reconcile, which is ridiculous. No. But he wrote a confession and also a note to his children when he was, during the 55 hours there in that car. And one of the things he wrote to them is that mom and dad will be looking down at you from heaven. Oh, oh my gosh. So Elisa says Possible that's murder, proof. Possible murder-suicide. Yeah. Potential oh. murder-suicide. He claimed he had offshore accounts, and he told her during this, this hostage time that he was going to flee overseas by boat. But that was all ridiculous. Wow. Well, she made it out okay. She did escape. We'll have to, you have to tune in, I think, uh, to see that. Extraordinary story. Mm -hmm. Peter Van Sant, thank you very much. And you can see Peter's full report, Alicia Matthewson's Night Terrors on 48 Hours, tomorrow night at 10, 9 central here on CBS and, of course, on Paramount+. Plus.